Hi there, I'm Jeremy. I'm playing Peter Pan in this year's Panto Original Theatre and we've got a treat for you today because you're coming backstage with me and you're going to follow me around. Come on. Come on, I'm going to sneak you on stage and take a look at the opening set. It's therapeutic putting on makeup. I do enjoy it, but I'm not incredibly dexterous at it. So this is the nursery, uh, where the opening scene happens. Let's go for some it's a sort of mind-focusing time. I fly on from this window here, across Wendy's bed. So they winch me up at the start of the show. These windows open. I come flying across. Land on the fireplace here. It's a very generous actor, very generous man, um, and it's been enormous, enormous fun. I only really meet him at the end of Act One uh, and the end of Act Two, when I have to do battle with him both times. Um, and it's huge fun, and it's a lot of fun actually. I think the audience are very protective of him. The Fonz, they're very protective of him as the Fonz, and so we've had a lot of a lot of heckling of when I've had a sword to his throat about to kill him, uh, saying, no, long live the Fonz, don't kill the Fonz. They're supposed to be on my side. Um, I've never done Panto before, but this is so much fun. Uh, this is made of steel. Looks like it's made of wood. It's not made of steel. Um, so I clamber up on the fireplace, I come down. It looks like something out of copper. <laughs> So Janine's come to save the day. <laughs> uh, oh, I've already got my hair caught in it. I was going quite that far. <laughs> so she'll weave the, as you can see, she'll weave the mic sort of through my hair so it's hidden, but so that the mic head arrives on my forehead where it's taped. Anyway, I get unhooked here from my wire. Uh, I'm then free to run around. Um, it's incredibly hard work running around in a harness because you've obviously got your body clamped uh, into all this metal and uh, the, sort of the back plate as well. There we go. Yeah, well done. Thank you. I will see you later. Thank you. Make you look young and boyish and fresh-faced. Lots of blusher. Hair straighteners as well. It's a, it's a mission to get my uh, my hair into that windswept look. But let's have a go. I really like my little dressing room here, it's very cosy, and added bonus, I have Wendy right next door. Hey, hi! <laughs> the rollers. So we have, quite, we have quite a regime to get ready, we have to do, sort of do our um, hair and makeup ourselves. Um, our dresser Yao will come and help us uh, get into costume eventually, uh, but first uh, we need mics on as discussed, then we need a flying harness which uh, I'm about to put on. Very attractive, and fine the, and, the, and, then, and then we can get a costume on, and yeah. then we can go down to the stage. We are ready. Yeah, we, um, between us, we have about 10 knocks before every show, and it gets yeah. a bit crazy. Yeah. We've got a bit of a routine now. It's a bit like the circus, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, just look at this auditorium. Isn't this amazing? I get to look out at this every day. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, here we go. This is mine. Uh, this is Paul from Freedom Flying, who is uh, just checking all the clips to make sure they're, they're tightly secured so I can be hoisted out safely. Just getting my jacket laced up. The final part and then all is complete and then it's time to go on stage. Oh, we're about to get the beginners, I think. Ladies and gentlemen of the Peter Pan Company, this is your at one beginners call, please your at one beginners call. And now, it's showtime. One show done, 
another show to go, so it's time to have a spag bowl and put my feet up. Uh, I hope you've liked the tour backstage and spending the day with me. See you next time. Bye.